could get small or could perform Well, it looks like Bite the Dust has reversed time. And welcome to part 23. And, uh, yeah, if I'm tongue. going to be no. going up Mr. Slave's ass, I might as well look the part. And oh, shrink myself, too. So fall. now I am a miniature butt crab. That prompt. That, that prompt. That is all. That's all you need to know. Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Yes, folks, the final dungeon of the game is Mr. Slave's ass. Ah. <sighs> ah, sick, dude. Just for the record, once you go sure in, you there's no in. way out until you finish. So... With that said, the remaining friends is all in Mr. Slave's hey, yeah, ass. How come I have to be your buddy right now? So let's get to this. New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great In case you're wondering, that is the Frog King, and he, along with Katata Fish and the Sparrow Prince, are the anal plaything animals that guided Lemmy Winks out of Mr. Slave's ass. And of course, they even have a Lemmy Winks theme for us going through Mr. Slave's ass, just like they did for Paris Hilton. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I have to laugh at that. It is fucking hilarious, the fact that they have that. Um... Uh, I will say this, though. Um... We are pretty much... in the, uh... area where we are fighting repeat enemies like the bacteria. That was actually a hunt by Jimbo. We are also in an area where... We have to use all of our friends' abilities and all of my abilities that I've gotten over the over the entirety of the game. Like, for instance, we'll have to call on Stan in order for us to traverse through this area. Dude, are we really gonna go up? Because the snoop control is Your electrified, command, my lord. so we'll need to call Stan to do something about Worth it. Try, Sparky, here, boy. And thanks to Stan, we're able to get through this game. Oh, by the way, you know that scene in Part 22 where the entirety of South Park blows up? Title. Die here! I dare you! Die here at any time or fail the minigame at the end of this stage. And you will be seeing that explosion lots of times. Anyway, you see that sis right there? Pop it and kill the Nazi zombie bacteria, which will reveal a transport, a transmitter for the anal probe. That's freaking disgusting. Oh, and by the way, to anyone who plan on censoring games in the near future, stop. Just stop. Australia and Europe needs to learn from their mistakes. Actually, this is also Ubisoft's oh, fault as well, like because shooting. most of the censorship That's they good. did, they censored the most important parts of the game. But, thankfully, this stage was, well, unthankfully, or something like that, this stage was left untouched. Completely. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hat, you can easily miss him, but you can actually, uh, press A to talk to him to get Mr. Hat as a friend. Now then, in order for you to get through this, you'll have to use Nagasaki on the pool ball. Get the right frequency, and it will not only break open the way to the next area, but get the... <laughs> shit out of the way, and also kill the Nazi zombie bacteria that happens to be there. Another friend! Oh, Big Gay Al! I don't know why his cell phone's up his ass, but it Hello? is. Slave honey? Yes, uh... I better not be tied up somewhere, you answer silly Big Gay Al's cell phone, oh, and you'll get Big Gay Al as a friend. And now we have Nazi zombie bacteria. Uh, even in Mr. For? Slave's ass, Nazi zombies are still present. Jesus Christ! Which begs the question! How come Mr. Slave is not a Nazi zombie? J just thought I'd ask. <clears throat> Sometimes my dad goes on road trips just to check out all the. But whatever the case, 
I'm going to try to finish this fight. This is the only time you need to see the Nazi zombie bacteria. Well, actually, not really. There is a boss that's coming up that has Nazi zombie bacteria backing it up. So, use Butters' his hammer of chaos to smash the Nazi zombie bacteria. And whatever Nazi zombie bacteria that does not die, you just kill it off with your, uh, melee weapons. Just for the record, these things are weak to holy. And we only have one more bacteria left to kill, so, uh, yeah, it's dead. Oh, it should be, but it's not. Oh, and it was gonna charge up to, uh, fire Nazi zombie germs at you, I think. And it would have done some massive damage. Oh, and we've got the Vibroblade. We're not gonna need it, but the Vibroblade is a weapon that'll, that'll put automatic gross out on, uh... <clears throat> any person that it touches. So yeah, let's climb up the further orifices of Mr. Slave's ass. We're gonna have to climb over the flashlight that was shoved up his ass and climb down the poop that is covering the flashlight and then put the battery into the flashlight. Well, that make the flashlight Why is there a flashlight in Mr. Slave's ass? Probably Mr. Garrison. That's all I need to say on that note. But yes, <laughs> we scared a bat out of his ass! Ooh, Jesus Christ! All jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get serious! Well, seriously funny, but also seriously painful, so I'm gonna switch over to Cartman because the next boss is legitimately the hardest storyline boss in the game. Oh yeah, and by the way, condom cap. Anyway, Let's go on ahead and meet this boss head on. I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. And now for legitimately the hardest storyline boss game in the entirety of the game, the Sparrow Prince. He is practically immune to all bad stats. Yes, you can still do damage, but the status effects that was that will be given to the Sparrow Prince, he is immune to. He's also immune to the elemental effect. Well, he's not really immune to the elemental effects, he just can't get burned or slowed. <clears throat> Which means, in order for you to actually make this fight easier, you're gonna have to use, uh, area of effect attacks that don't get, uh, negated by the Sparrow Prince or the Nazi Zombie Bacteria, say like Cartman's Fire, and you have to use that to get rid of the Nazi Zombie Bacteria. And also take advantage of the Tweak Brothers coffees, all of them, if you happen to buy them, because guess what? You're going to need all the speed boosts and all the turns necessary to try to get rid of the Sparrow Prince and his bacteria minions. <clears throat> and just so we're clear, despite the fact that Cartman has very low HP, uh, Cartman can still do some really serious damage. Oh, by the way, again, we're gonna have to use things like Curse to do some damage to the Sparrow Prince, which that did about 8,000. That's pretty damn powerful. Uh, I might as well also go after the other things like the bacteria. Well, I managed to kill one of them. Oh crap, I grossed myself out. Bastard! That is the other thing that uh, needs to be mentioned. Whenever the Sparrow Prince uses things like birds are gross, so long as the Nazi zombie bacteria is out, the Nazi zombie bacteria will end up getting a boost. No, you idiot! That's not gonna help! 
Uh, but at least it got rid of one of the Nazi zombie bacteria. That is a good thing, at least. So then. My anger is greater now. Just, uh, focus on getting rid of the Nazi zombie bacteria, and the Sparrow Prince would be the only thing to focus on. He's got some beefy HP. Oh, crap! Oh, no! So now that the Sparrow Prince is in a reflective stance, now you have no choice but to use either magic spells or you have no choice but to use, uh, physical attacks. Like, oh, melee attacks, sorry, not, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, not ranged attacks. You can't use melee attacks. If you try to use magic missile, he will bounce it back at you. So... Just... Oh crap! Wow! I was going to say, just brace yourself for impact, because the Sparrow King... I mean, the Sparrow Prince, sorry, tend to use... Uh, the Sparrow Beam to pretty much annihilate your party members, and by God, it killed Cartman terribly. Hey, we're almost done with this fight. He's like halfway dead. Oh, shit. Those birds really do a number on people. You're gonna have to buy some more items by the time you get started for the next battle, though. Although he can't be burned, he still can take damage from Elemental. Alright, let's get some Power Potion. Power Potion. There we go. Or the Mega Power Potion. Ah, there we go. Large Power Potion. Nice. Now then, let's just keep executing him. Because I am not doing Death of a Thousand Cuts. I can't get that off no matter how hard I try. <clears throat> I think he's also... Well, I don't think he's immune to defense down. That I do know. Because I did fight this guy with Kenny before. And, uh, the Sparrow Prince got easily charmed and his attack and defense went down. No, his attack went down. Sorry, not the fence. But he's Stop. constantly Jesus got the floating Christian. effect, so Cleaner. there's Stop. not Stop. much Stop. you can do Stop. about removing that. He's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. I can use the freaking sweet katana, but again, he's got high defense. And he's down to 31, and oh crap! That Sparrow Magic Beam again. The same thing that killed Cartman. Now he's firing it five times. Whew, that was close. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. Just for the record, the fact that Lemmy Winks' theme song was playing throughout the entirety of that fight was just absolutely hilarious. Alright, now, in order for us to continue, you're gonna have to use Nagasaki yet again in order for you to, uh, break through and get up to the, uh, top of that vibrator to turn it on to proceed through the rest of the stage. Now then, just kill off the, uh, sperm, and use the transmitter to get down and turn on the vibrator. Just how much stuff was shoved up Mr. Slave's ass? Jesus Christ! Well, we'll soon find out. I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Our gods 
What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. The Frog Prince is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, these are actually the last random encounter of the game. I am not kidding. Once you kill you these guys, that? that's it. Oh, and by the way, that last summoning that I'm saving for this? This is that's actually an achievement. Simply summon Mr. Slave in his own ass. And you will get an achievement not only for Xbox Live, but for PSN! Yeah! And oh my god! That shit did almost 900,000 damage! Holy shit! Well, uh, yeah, there'll be no more summonings now! Cause we're coming on to the last part of this stage. Yeah, let's just get ready, because remember the last time I, uh, had to do this mini-game. New kid came to the stomach dark, neath the cold depths of the London heart. Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the Stomach's Core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata Fish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. As hilarious as that is, it's nice to see Katata Fish again, as Katata Fish was in the WikiLeaks episode where he was smeared of doing bastard trout with an underage salmon. But that's not the point. The point of the matter is, he tries to figure out how to get to the Snook's self-destruct sequence, and Jimmy's the only one that can actually get through because it has a handicap accessible sign. Anyway, this should be familiar because we had to do this in part 20. And yeah, I failed twice on that. But I won't fail this time. Because if you fail this sequence, remember that scene in part 22? Yeah, part 22? That's gonna happen here if you fail this abortion. So, uh, yeah. This, by the way, is uncensored. So, yeah. Not that I needed that. You just gotta complete the abortion, and the world will be saved. With that said, the snook has been destroyed, and we have completed the stage. What is it, Mr. Slave? What are you feeling? Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. By clearing Mr. Slave's ass, we have Katata Fish, Sparrow Prince, the Frog King, and the Crown of Anal Pleasure. And those last three were the final three friends of the game. With that said, ladies and gents, we are done with stopping the government from blowing up South Park. The only thing that's left is Clyde. And sadly, we won't be able to, like, physically beat up Clyde like talking about it, because he's got one more trick up his sleeve. See you guys in the finale.